All right, so here we go. Yeah, I'm just using the uh, mobile phone um, just because there's thoughts like zippity dip and I'm like, okay, they're going away too fast, unfortunately. Okay, I'm just going to say right off the bat, I mean, you know, believe me or not, I mean, this is the way it goes with my, uh, I'm just telling you what goes on in my head. Um, so after, well, during my uh, first sleep, I had a dream of, I could see a shadow of a bit of a cross um, over the Dervelt Creek map here and I went, okay, that, like when I woke up, I went, okay, you're on the right track here. I know I'm going with it with the medieval theme. I'm going to start trying to like go with the narrative like there's no flipping tomorrow. Uh, but I will say this. Now it's start. I mean, obviously, historically, there was some. Okay. I did take a look now. Um, this is where I'm going to put the headquarters for the 4th Army in Damascus for now. And then we'll start from there. Because uh, what I'm trying to do from the Ottoman perspective, I obviously have to set up the Ottomans first. So that way the Entente know what the hell they're getting into. Um, and that's what I mean. Obviously, historically, that this did not happen. You know, I'll try to get back about, I'm not using the whatevers. Um, so historically, obviously, this didn't happen. So why didn't it happen? Um, like, why, I mean, eventually, yes, they did go up this way. But was there any other, was there any little attack this way? Amphib I mean, supposedly the Brits uh, annexed this right off the flipping bat, uh, bat and all this type of stuff. So I'd like to, anyways, I got to set up the Ottomans first, but from the Ottoman perspective, and I was thinking about it last night, what is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want to reveal what they're, uh, what we're up to. So just trying to figure out ways of um, getting mobile as quickly as possible, putting armies uh, or troops in. And yeah, I was looking at some uh, actual setups of where the, uh, where the, where the troops were, um, with the Palestine book there. Oh gosh, I'm so glad I picked that up. And it was the ironic thing is I didn't pick it up for the Ottoman stuff. Really. I just picked it up on the chapter on logistics and I was kind of like hedging my bets with my money thinking, well, maybe someday you'll be interested in the Ottomans. So why don't you just get this book that has a, you know, has a good chapter on logistics. And then, you know, I was like, Oh my God, this is so cool. Anyways. Um, so what I'm going to do, I will put some relatively strong troops in here, but you see, there's no, mo well, there's moving along here. Okay, goody. I don't even know anything about steep. This is a steep train, a whole other thing I don't know anything about. But anyway, so that's what the Ottomans are going to do. Because remember, the Ottomans are, tr this is going to be a major push to try to uh, cut off the, uh, uh, the troops and supplies from the Suez Canal. And it just so happens that, um, like I said, uh, there's some higher ups off in uh, in England or London or whatever that uh, are into this Ninth Crusade mode, which obviously on a side note comes into a uh, thing is uh, obviously I can't uh, you can't say that like, oh, you're supposed to do it all your freaking Muslim uh, colonial Muslim trip like in India. As far as it, this is all new stuff for me, man. So, uh, you know, like whatever. But it's um, yeah, you obviously can't say, hey, by the way. Uh, so I, I'm, I don't know, maybe call it something like. It'll just be Plan H9 for a whole... Plan H9, that sounds not too bad, for a Holy Land 9. But anyways, whatever. This off to, But what I'm saying is, take a look at this. And now we're starting to get off into, okay, historically this could never happen, what you want to do. But it's like, well, maybe you're now getting into a game thing where the... Uh, oddly enough, the constraints... Which, uh, which always seems to be driving me nuts or a lot of gamers nuts with games in a weirdo way is actually now opening up. It's not a constraint. Uh, it, you can, I can now play a, a what if uh, a lot easier because, uh, you know, you know, it may not be historically whatever, but it's like, well, the game has given me that ability to uh, uh, play that what if out, which I think is just a wonderful thing to think about uh, about games now that I, like that I just did not uh, that didn't clue in is what I'm trying to say at, at some point hold on here uh, I just I'll show you quickly yeah I just wanted to show you quickly just maybe a bit of a close-up bit of uh, what I was talking about in the last video there so you can see like that's the area we want to make sure that uh, um, the Austro uh, Germans can't have and move the headquarters over to there like I said, it's still like right beside the engineering uh, bit and, and whatnot. So you know, things are all, I mean, obviously not great, but it's not the end of the world. That's what I'm trying to say. 
and uh, there's Percy Lop has the 8th Army HQ, but he's got a little number three. Oh my god. Anyways, it was neat too, is last night, like, yet again, I randomly pick uh, my battle group numbers, like the counter numbers, and I had to pick a new one for uh, the headquarters. It used to be number 50. I kept 50 up there for the 33rd Inf Infantry Division. And uh, it's number 90, which is kind of like, you know, obviously, three times three. That's pretty cool. And they're the third army. Anyways, okay, that's it. Hope you have a good one. Bye.